You've been the number one overall seed before. Yeah. But just, I mean, what does it mean to have that bestowed upon your brother? Um, you know, it's somewhat of a surprise. I mean, you know, I think seven losses, but I mean, the quality of opposition we played this year, uh, that's what we wanted to do. And, and uh, just, you know, that, that last stretch in the conference was extremely tough. And uh, just the grit that our team showed, um, I think, uh, showed some resilience and some bounce. You know, we were down a couple of times, we bounced right back. And, and you know, now that's done. Now it's on to the next stage. And, um, you know, we've got to take care of business. You know, it starts on Thursday, and uh, we've got to be ready to play. Are you playing your best uh, in the postseason? That's where every coach wants our team to be. Oh, exactly. Well, you just don't know until you get out there. Um, you know, I think our pitching has held its own this year, uh, without a doubt. I think that we're starting to see some consistency throughout the quarter. You know, um, not if, we have seem to have a different hero each, each time we go out. I mean, you know, this weekend it was uh, Mia Camuso coming through, and, you know, her average is not what it was, but uh, she came through in the weekend for us big, and, um, and that's what we need. We need different people to step up. Um, you know, Haley Cruz has really upped her game, and it's been a big uh, plus for our team batting down the number nine position. As you look at your regional, do you, are you familiar with any of them, or is that uh, what the next few days are about? Well, that's what the next few days are about. Obviously, we've got to find some tape on Albany, and then you know the, the Drake, and um, I can't remember who the other one is. BYU. BYU, of course, I should know that. I mean, he, he's already texted me and said, I'm sorry about having to play Thursday again. You know, <laughs> so, uh, he, he's an old fast pitch guy, so I know BYU very well. And, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, again, you know, you get into that postseason, anything can happen, and we know that, and uh, we've got to be ready to go. Elephant in the room with the 24 and 0 in the regional play. <laughs> well, the game doesn't know that when we start playing on Thursday. I always tell that to the ladies. The game doesn't know, and it doesn't. It's going to reward the team that plays the best, and that's what we got to focus on. Just keep going. If we happen to lose them, we got to bounce back, you know. And um, I, I think we have shown that this year that uh, you know when we do have some adversity, we do tend to bounce back. And um, hopefully it won't happen. Hopefully we'll go through and be unscathed and uh, keep playing at Jane Sanders. Uh, for the Super Regional and then continue on. Have you seen enough from Maggie now on the back to back weekend so you think you could go out her uh, this weekend at the I, I, You know, possibly. Um, you know, I still, you know, she still was a little wild a couple of times, but I mean, she did a great job. She knew it was a championship game, more or less, and, um, you know, it was a lot of pressure on her, and uh, she came out and threw very well. Uh, she, she, she attacked them, and that's what she's got to do. And, you know, uh, I didn't have a, a radar gun on her. You know, we didn't know her velocity was, but it looked like she was pumping in there pretty good. The Thursday game is something you guys are used to by now. I take it a disadvantage, advantage, it's just whatever at this point. Well, this pluses and minuses. Obviously, you know, having today off is, is good. You know, you know, we have to rest a little bit. Uh, we were going to take Monday off if we were playing Friday, but now we're going to practice Monday. Uh, so it's a little bit earlier. There's a little more push on to get game film and everything else. But I feel like we'll be ready to go. It's a, you know, we don't have to travel, so that's the plus. You know, those other teams have to travel from across the other side of the country. You know, BYU, you know, not too far to go, but still, you know, they got less time to prepare than we do. So, you know, um, you know, we can't complain about that at all. We've got to be ready to go. It's the same for the other teams. You guys have sort of expected every year to get to OKC at this point, given your track record. What? convinces you that maybe this team's a little bit different and things will work out this time around? Yeah, well I just think the uh, you know the, the experience the pitching has, you know, they're one year older than what they were last year and um, you know we've seen that difference with Kleist, you know, I mentioned that on the on the on the the show, you know, that uh, I think Kleist is uh, up to her game. And, uh, you know, I think Ellis is still learning and there's still some things to go, but, you know, she's doing so much better than last year. You know, so if we can get our ballot back in the mix as well, that would be even better. But I just think our pitching is more experienced. I think our defense is playing so much better than what it was at this time last year. So put those two back in there, you know, defense wins championships. That's an old axiom, and uh, I believe in that, obviously, being a pitcher. But, uh, you know, and then we got to find a way to score runs, and obviously we're dangerous. Uh, we've hit way more home runs than I ever thought we were going to hit this year. I thought we were going to be more of a gap-to-gap -gap team, and you know, first weekend out we got to hit 17 home runs. But, you know, but then someone turned the power switch off but for a while. But, you know, we've, we've, um, we've bounced back on that too. You know, Gwen Savickas and um, DJ Sanders are having a nice little contest there to see who can uh, hit the most. And, Hopefully that continues. Um, and uh, right now, everybody's healthy. Touch wood and uh, going to post. What are you doing defensively that you like to? Uh... Um, I think just tuning some double plays, some some key double plays. You know, um, they've got us out of some big situations. Uh, you know, I think that uh, Jenna Lilly. I mean, if you look at, you know, I was looking at you know, who's going to get the Pac All Pac 12 defensive awards. Her chances, her assists are. I think like 150 or 140. She has way more assists than anybody else in the conference. And, and I think it's it's testament to how many balls she gets to that other people don't get to. She makes plays look easy. And I think that's that's huge for us because, you know, DJ, you know, she can play a little more at the middle now. And it just 
it's harder for teams to get through the hole there, especially with that pitching. Speaking of remarkable stats, given the teams you faced, how impressive is Aliyah from 16 loss for Megan, and how did she do that? Well, she just focused. She just refuses to walk people. She, you know, we talk about quality pitches, and we have to attack. You know, every pitch has an uh, intent and purpose, and we want to uh, aggressively attack the zone. You, you know, you, you cannot get behind in this game and try to be good hitter. We have to go attack and take our chances. And as Megan's doing that, um, you know, we're seeing that she's keeping the ball down in the zone. Which she's using her rise ball a little more often, and the of course, her changeup is legit. Um, so that's what she does best. She's able to vary her pitches and hit really good locations. How much does that help the D? I mean, they know she's either going to get a strikeout or it's coming out. They have to make a play on it. Well, absolutely. You know, one of, the, one of the worst things as a defender is waiting for someone to throw a strike. You know, you know with Megan, it's going to be around the zone. You know, so be ready, and uh, that can really help out. And uh, you know, in, in typically we get pretty quick innings. Uh, Megan limits her pitch counts. You know, they're just about always under nine. Uh, which is tremendous for the competition we're actually playing. I mean, you look at the teams that she's lost to, they're all really good teams. You know, all the teams she's got wins against are all really good teams. Um, and so I don't, I don't know if there's anybody else that's played the quality of teams consistently that she's faced. You mentioned also in the uh, TV show about scoring runs being at a, runs being at a premium when you get into into this. Are you going to approach the offensive end of things a little different this time around? Well, or do you think you go the same way? No, and you know we have to look at the pitching matchups. You know who we're facing. Um, I never try to paint myself a picture before the game starts. I always get out there and let the game kind of tell me what to do. And um, I don't try to be smarter than the game. I try to feel it out. I look at what the uh, defense has given us. What are their weaknesses? What can we attack? You know, obviously some games you see me run more than others, and sometimes that depends on what personnel we're playing against. Did anything, oh, anything surprise you about the bracket? I mean, you see the Pac-12 getting love, SEC of course getting some love. Did anything jump out at you when they released the bracket and surprise you at all? Um, well, you know, um, it's tough to say. You know, I mean, I, I've got to really kind of look at it and digest it all. I mean, you, you know, for some reasons you think that you know, maybe that 16 bracket is a little tougher than the 14 bracket. I mean, there's some nuances in there, you know, but a lot of us do with regions and how they, they set them all up. So um, right now we just got to worry about who we're playing. Obviously, you know, um, there's some pretty good matchups there. We need to get through this first regional, of course, first. Yeah, that 16 bracket looks pretty legit. It does look <laughs> legit. I mean, you know, Kentucky coming back out here again and, you know, yeah, Nip got to beat uh, Michigan, and Michigan's really good. And, I mean, I'm telling you, that 16 bracket looked pretty tough. So uh, uh, maybe that's the price you pay for getting number one. So, uh, but you got to beat them all anyway. You know, we know that, and we've got to play well. Um, we've got to. You know, there's going to be a lot of pressure, um, but we love playing at home, and um, this is a great place to play. You guys scheduled pretty hard in the non-conference and, and did well against the top teams in the RPI. Is this where that all pays off? We're about to find out, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, we've, like I said, we've been under pressure the whole year, you know, and especially down the stretch here, you know, having to play Washington at Washington and, you know, a Utah team. I mean, those teams, they're not easy teams. And, you know, playing them and then playing Cal on the road, and Cal's gifted, you know, they're in the top 25, they're a very tough team, and uh, Kalani Dung is, is a very tough pitcher. Um, so I, I thought we did well. You know, uh, given the pressure, and because we know what it is, we know we're playing for championship. We can't afford to lose at UCLA. They're, you know, they don't give give games away either. So I think we've done well. You mentioned Megan's growth as a pitcher to win pitcher of the year in the Pac-12 with the Rachel Garcias, the Juarez. I mean, just what's that mean to, to see her growth and where she's at now? Well. Like I said, I think it, I think some people looked at who she's pitched against. They didn't look at the the five or six losses or seven losses or whatever she had. You know, five, I think it's five losses. They didn't look at the five losses she has. She looked at the 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 quality of her work. And so I'm impressed that they, they decided to go with Megan. Obviously, I can't vote for her. Uh, I would have, but I can't. You know, um, but uh, you know, I, I think that. Uh, they, she impressed other coaches as well, and so that's pretty tough to do. And you mentioned those pitches that are in our conference with Garcia, Juarez, and uh, McQuillan, and several others. I steal my guys. All right.